black people are notorious for naming their children 25-letter names that they're never going to get even pronounced right, let alone spelled right. Like, why would you do that? Do you uh-huh. know why they actually do that? Yeah. The reason no. for that is, is because it? during slavery, their their identities were taken away. So they had to have unique names in order to identify their offspring when they were sold from different plantations. So that came down generationally as generational trauma. Okay, well, how about now? Isn't that sort of trauma for that poor kid that's never going to have his name only, spelled right? Only to your standards. I'm like, like what is? Advice, if I were that child. I wouldn't want my name misspelled all the way through or mispronounced by people. Well, that's because people life. can't take the time to pronounce it correctly. Whatever. You can say the supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but you can't say Jaquan. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever the result is, the poor child does not have his name pronounced correctly or spelled correctly. Because people do not take the time. You can okay, take the extra the- two seconds to do it, but instead you're sitting here making fun of a whole culture of people for things that they didn't have a have, uh, a choice on. Do you have a name that gets misspelled a lot? I sure don't. Well, because my mom whitewashed my name. So that's racist. Wow. Put up the picture full of masks. Let me give a big thank you to the anti-Karen who provided somewhat of a history lesson here. It gets deeper than that, but you definitely get an A minus. Okay. So to my understanding, the Karen that you see She is concerned about black children being traumatized because they have names that white people may have a hard time pronouncing. When the anti-Karen said, okay, you can say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but you can't say Jaquan. Drop mic moment. The reality is, Karen, that what you're saying and the way you possibly live is much more of a traumatic dynamic than a person's name. Um, That name is given, that's the first gift that your parents give you as you come into the world. It's the first gift. And it is a sacred gift. We're connected to that gift. For you to criticize individuals who may be children because they have a name that you may not want to learn how to pronounce correctly, but that's insane. I wonder, do you feel the same about our Asian brothers and sisters or possibly German names that are difficult for the English speaker? How about the Hispanic culture? Yeah, they were not part of your commentary. Only black people. All right, Sharon, thoughts. My thoughts are she gets the prize. What a wonderful example of a racist in a coordinated rain gear. She is ridiculous. But to your point, Doc, the world is according to her. And that's all she sees. She's got the blinders on. And perhaps it is just a coincidence that she didn't get to German descent or Asian or Russian. Uh, She just started, I guess, with African Americans and um, gave her truth. She's a whole lie and a fool. Right. Yeah. And the thing is, she believed every word of what she was saying. Exactly. 